I'm trying to dress up like there is no tomorrow. We're not looking towards the future, we're looking backwards. <laughs> Tell us what you're wearing. 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 Hey, tell us what you're wearing. Tell us what you're wearing. Hi, my name is Camille and I'm from New York City. Alright, love in the fit. I gotta ask, what do you do? I'm a university student. I go to Rise. What do you aspire to be? Um, I hope to become a surgeon. Um, Ooh, eventually. High aspirations. Yeah, a bit later. Okay. But... Yeah. I don't see a lot of surgeons dressing like you though, right? <laughs> Alright, let's break the fit down. Let's start off with the scarf. Um, this scarf is from H&M. Okay. I got it when I was 10. No way! <laughs> yeah. The bomber jacket is my mom's dress. The dress, I believe, is from Ooh, Mango. Two what a little surprise, Thank yeah? You. you got another coat on there, right? Um, no, it's actually one coat. It's all together. And the trusty docs? Yes, Doc Martens. I got them here in Soho. Just very cool, calm, but still functional. You know? I love it. Let's rate the outfit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the fit? Mm, probably like a 6. Before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Uh, my Instagram is Camila Katia. My name is Amy Kelly. I'm from New York City. Ooh. Look at the Irish today though, right? Loving the green. <laughs> what are you yeah. up to right now? Right now I'm creating content pretty much all around Soho. So I gotta ask, what do you do? I am a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> Looking fresh. Yeah. Let's break down the outfit. Oh. Let's start off with the coat. So here we have a nasty gaw, anthropology, Sasan, and Sasan. Ooh, okay. And this is corduroy, right? Yes, it is. Ooh, nice. For this little chilly weather here. Yeah, it's right? very important because it's freezing. Love at that. The moment. And I also noticed you have some accessories, which oh, elevates yeah. the outfit always, right? I, think I Let's love talk about some of them. So I have here Kirk Geiger, and these are from. <gasps> I forgot the name. Oh, my rings. Well, they're nowhere. They're just gold, and this okay. is the one Aura ring. Okay. This is the Aura ring. Oh, and I love watches, so I have yeah, a cool. watch, a tennis bracelet from. You know, my forever bracelets. Right. You got a tooth gem too? Yes, I do. Bling, bling. Yes, from <laughs> Tooth Gem in Brooklyn. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the fit? This one, I'll give it an 8. Everybody want to check out the content Ooh. that you're making, right? Share that Instagram with us. At by Amy Kelly. Miles again, I'm from New York. Ooh. Killing the fits as usual, thank you, thank you. right? <laughs> so, what are you up to right now, Miles? Yeah. Went to support my boy Dr. Garments on his giveaway. You know how to pop out, show love. No doubt. And you came yeah. dressed for the occasion, right? It's cold, so I had a, I had a Absolutely. Yeah. Super cozy you looking, right? Very cozy. Very all right. Cozy. You, yeah. you have to bring your A game all the time, God, right? Can't be called like it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Break down the outfit. Let's start off with the cap. Oh, the hat is just uh, pleasures, mm -hmm. none too crazy. And then we got this I just thrifted yesterday. It was like $10. Oh, shit. Cozy. No doubt. Uh, we got Paradox pants, <laughs> Paris, the homies out there. And he's got the Balenciaga Alaska boots. Okay. Cozy. Where's the fleece coming from? The fleece is champion. None too crazy. You gotta okay. go cheap and expensive, mix it all low, up. Little high, low, right? High, Where low, the shades you know. from? These are also uh, Balenci. Okay. Essence, so Can I see the bag? Right. In the bag, that's so thrifted. I got it in Milan. Let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? I'll give it a con. I'll give it an 8 today. Share your Instagram with me. Miles Baguette. Hi, I'm Paulina. I'm from Russia originally, but I live in New York. It's freezing in New York? It's actually not that much. Well, it's okay. Because you're Russian, right? Russia, right? <laughs> Let me ask you, what do you do? I have a social media company okay. and I'm an influencer myself, but I don't like to be called an influencer. <laughs> Let's talk about the outfit. Yes. Where are the glasses from? Okay, this is Alexander McQueen. Ooh. Yes, this is Jacques Mousse. Okay, love that. The sweater? Uh, Kim He Kim, Korean designer, I think. Okay, and then I love this necklace. Too. A vêtement. Ooh, let me see. Super cute. Uh, Lada Bakuchava, Georgian designer. The boots? This is Ace's $30. No way! I think so. I think $30 or like under $100 for sure. Okay, and then of course the bag? Uh, Chanel. Love that. I 
just like to wear what people don't wear if it makes any sense. So right now I have a big crisis. I love luxury <laughs> fashion, but I started to despise it if it makes any sense. So I decided to make a challenge and not buy any luxury pieces anymore. All right, but I can tell you're full of luxury pieces right I know, now. Though. <laughs> it's just not unique anymore. It's a trend right now, right? Yes. Yeah, it's fast fashion at this point. Um, let's rate the outfit. On a scale of 1 to 10, um, how would you rate your own I would say today it was probably 4. I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite outfit. Before I let you go, yes. share your Instagram. Naoli. N-I-O-L-Y. I'm Keith Taylor. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. So let me ask you, what do you do? Uh, paint submarines for this. You paint submarines? Paint submarines, man. U.S. Navy God submarines. God damn, all right. I definitely couldn't tell you did that, right? Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> you tripped the hell out right now. Yeah? Let's break the fit down. Let's start off with the shades. Uh, shades, a little bit of Rick Owens. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, the meat from uh, Daniel's Leather. Okay. I hear. I heard of them, all right. Yeah, Soho area. Dope. Yeah. The hoodie. Uh, definitely got her Gallery, department. feel yeah, that? Yeah, just casual clean. Pants. Uh, some sweats from, uh, out there where I'm at right now, out in Baltimore. Okay. Yeah. And of course the Louis, right? Uh, of course the Louis. And okay. you gotta go, you know, you still gotta have the chrome on top. I see that, I see that. Yeah. Uh, actually, this is, uh, you gotta keep your hip hop. You gotta keep some Wayne going. The block is hot. Uh, yeah, I got a little something on. We got, a. Oh, nice oh watch. you flooded Flood. right now. Exotic. You flooded right Houston. now. Um, bracelet from Icebox. There you go. Oh, Diamond Tina. Neck frosty too? Yeah. He is a frosty too. Definitely. Let's rate the fit, all right? On a scale right. of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? Uh, on a casual shopping day, I'm going to go... I'm going to go at 8. Before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. Uh, Instagram is Gucci Gucci 953. And notice, you got a little haul right there. Yeah. I'm not going to ask you to open the box. Just tell me what you caught. Uh, we got the uh, little Ricky. white, fat, lace Rick. Okay. With the Rick on skirt. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to try something different. I'm Valeria, and I'm from Russia. Ooh. Second time on the channel, right? Yeah. And every time I catch you, you're looking fabulous, but on top of that, you're always on your way to the gym, right? <laughs> let's talk about the outfit. So let's start off with the hat. Where's that from? So the hat is a collaboration of H&M and oh, Rabat. Really? Yeah, that I got recently. The sunglasses is from Moschino. Uh, I like card shaped things. And the coat is from Norma Kamali. Can I see the bag? The bag is from Golgaya. I got in a simple sale. Okay, the and then your gym shoes. My gym shoes is at the studios from Manhattan. And let's see the gym outfit. <laughs> and I'm on my way to the gym. This is a velvet set from Lululemon I got years ago. Let's rate the outfit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? Uh, I feel like uh, 8 out of 10. I don't think it's the perfect match. <laughs> right. Before I let you go, share your Instagram with me. My Instagram is Valeria Sharapova. Lauren Vanderpool, and I'm from The Universe, also known as Washington, D.C. <laughs> Thank so, you. I got to ask, what are you doing in the Big Apple? I'm here filming, um, recording, and having fun with friends. Okay, so is it safe for me to assume that you're a recording artist? I am a recording artist. Okay. Uh, one of the things that I do. Let's jump into the fit. Where's okay. the hat from? Well. Okay. <laughs> um, I made the hat, but I got the actual hat. Gosh, where did I get? I think I got this hat from Nosara, um, Costa Rica. This is actually from Queens, New York. And this is like a simple Amazon set, to be honest. It's okay. very comfy, just like a chill little vibe. Then the boots go with the hat. So you, I'm assuming you made these, right? Yes, I did. You know, and this is just a reminder that, you know, there's a light to God that always guides the humble. And I like to, you know, stay in that space of confidence, love, but also humility. Shades. Oh, these are just, I don't even know where I got these. The little Chanel number. Oh, yeah. This is just like... I, the whole my whole life is in this bag <laughs> these are like um all pieces that are from independent designers 
actually worked with uh, David Ehrman. This is a gift from my auntie. And I'm not married, but this is from my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Keep all the dogs away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's rate the fit. On a scale of one to 10, how would you rate the outfit? Give it an eight. Share that Instagram with me. Oh, you can find me at Queen of Green on Instagram and laurenvanderpool.com. Abdul, I'm from Senegal, Ooh. but I live in New York City. Ooh, so you're a New Yorker now? Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask, are you a model? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Let's talk about the outfit. Where's the hat from? Uh, I got it from, from my guy, Bemble. Oh. The scarf from Zara, the coat from, I think, Zara. Too. Zara, okay, the pants. The pants, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and then the kicks. I think I get it from my dad. <laughs> okay, let's so, rate the fit. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your own outfit? One to ten. Maybe an eight. Before I let you go, share your Instagram with me. Uh, my Instagram is Abdu and Do It. My name is Lauren. I'm from New Jersey. Do you mind if I ask you what you do? Uh, I'm a student. Okay. So. What do you study, if you don't mind me asking? Um, I'm studying marketing with a advertising minor. I'm actually studying in uh, Paris. January, so I'm trying to be... How ready. exciting! Yeah. I'm excited and nervous for you at the same time, yeah? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Let's break down the outfit. Where's the bucket hat from? Um, I actually thrifted this. Oh, um, no way! Local. Looks super cozy, yeah? <laughs> Alright, the overcoat. Um, this from TJ Maxx. Ermac? Marshall. Okay. And this gorgeous piece there, yeah? This is my mother's. Shout out to mom. <laughs> yeah, for sure. This is also perfect. Okay. All right, the cream pants. Uh, these are Zara. Okay, and then the kicks. These are thrifted as well. Ooh, let's rate the fit. On a scale of one to ten, how would you rate your own outfit? Um, I'm gonna give this a nine. Before I let you go, share your Instagram with me. Uh, Lauren oh. Ricky, I'm from Brooklyn. Let's break down the outfit. Let's start off with the sunnies. The, uh, I got these from Credo, right down the street. All right, they look fat. Are they tortoise shell? Yes. The puffer, uh, I got it at Macy's. Okay. Right? okay. Oh, Michael Kors? Yes. A sweater from a store named Elkel, E-L-K-E-L, -E in the Lower East Side. And uh, just black tights. Black tights, and then the shoes. Rape signs. Yeah, th these are the reasons why I stopped you. Well, yeah. Yes, that's the only thing you saw. <laughs> sure. Who's this by? It's from Macy's again. Let's rate the fit. On yes. a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your own outfit? 8 or 9. Okay, perfect. And before I let you go, share your Instagram with us. Okay. Uh, RSG1414. Alistair Knight. Um, I originally from Peru via San Francisco, Miami, and now New York. Man. Ooh, international man, right? <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing today, man? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fucking feeling good. You know, and, and looking feeling, fresh, you know? right? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta ask, what do you do? I'm a musician, man. If you haven't told Ooh. it, yeah, man. That's what we it's all about. We can definitely right? tell, right? Let's break down the outfit. Let's start off with the hat. This hat is actually, you can look. Lano left. Okay. It's an old fur blend hat from the 50s. The shades. These are actually shady specs. They're a friend local from Brooklyn. Um, they make a lot of reproductions from like the 60s, 50s. My lucky velour uh, black scarf. It's Another piece ass, that man. I always seem to lose on other ends, and this one has stayed and remained. This coat um, is from England, actually. It's a faux fur coat. It's been through a lot of shit. As you can see, I've sewed, I've pinned it on, I've lost many buttons. Uh, it's still here, it still remains. On the bottom we have these Beatwear England boots. These are fucking amazing, but they're from England. They're kind of hefty price, but I mean like they're fucking worth they it. They look kick-ass, man. The pants are Wrangler Ranchers. The sweater is actually just a cheap little Uniqlo uh, merino wool. Yeah, it fits the aesthetic though, I yeah? stole this like, uh, <laughs> like I don't know how long ago and I needed a sweater one day and I was fucking freezing. I just took it and I've been wearing it ever since. <laughs> I also noticed you got some jewelry on. Can we take a look? This I just scored right now, actually. It seems to be a ster sterling silver Oh, it fits your aesthetic ring. perfectly, yeah. Um, and then the timepiece? The timepiece I got here quite a while ago. It's a Citizen. How do you source your clothing? It's a bit rough. I don't like to just go to any thrift store or shop online. I dig, man. Honestly, I'll be completely honest. A lot of my shit is custom made. I'm Peruvian, so I have the ability to go back to South America Ooh. and just be like, yeah, man, I have this idea. I'm going to design this. 
I'm not gonna make a big collection. I'm just gonna make it for myself. Yeah. I kind of designed for myself. Some yeah, and it's a little bit more affordable there, right? Taylor's. Oh man, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna <laughs> let the secret out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 you want some shit done right, man. Kind of so let's rate the fit on a scale of one to ten. How would you rate the outfit? I'll be completely humble about it, man. Honestly, I usually like to play a bit around more. You know, like today I just walked out of the house and I was just trying to go shopping real quick. I'll give this uh, a seven. I don't know. I know. You told what, me it was your day off, what, right? What do the people think? I don't know. Comment below, right? <laughs> yeah, let me know, man. Absolutely. And before I let you go, share that Instagram with me. The Nightshades with a K. Uh, we have a band. We do a lot of, you know, if you like this, you like this look, you like the sound that comes with it, man. Um, dig on the Nightshades. I'm originally from California, but I moved here to New York a few months ago. I live in the Bronx now. So what brings you to the Big Apple? I, you know, I love the history of this area particularly so much. Loving the fit today, yeah? Yeah, so, you know. You know, it's not every day we run into an outfit like this, right? So I gotta ask, what do you do? So, I do historical walking tours on the Lower East Side. Um, primarily Chinatown, Little Italy, and the Bowery. Uh, I'm working today at 3. Okay. I gotta head down there to do my Bowery tour. Uh, I know, you might think I would do something related to this, uh, but I did make this. You told me that you're not required to dress up on this tour, correct? I'm not. I just, I already do this. The reason I got hired for this job is because I do this. <laughs> I moved here a few months ago, and when I was in the process of moving here, I, and I went in for the job interview, I walked in. Two seconds after I get there, they're like, you're hired. Once you, once you, get, a, once you get a place here, you're hired. One of the good side effects of being fashionable, right? You know, it helps. It helps. Yep. You know what? I heard a good saying. It says, um... The, the better I dress, the luckier I get. You know, uh... Have you I, heard that before? Yeah, and it's it, it's funny because, uh, so a lot of my friends who lived here their whole lives tell me that, like, yeah, it takes a lot to get New Yorkers to, like, Absolutely. have to catch their attention. Yeah. I mean, the for, fit's yeah. amazing, and it's even better because you told me you made it yourself, right? I did, yeah. So let's break it down, the hat. Where's so that from? I you made, made this? this? I did. Ooh. Okay. So, is that rabbit hair? It is. Okay. It is. Yeah. I so when, before I moved here, I there was a place. There's no place like this here. I <laughs> think, but it was a place that would sell like art scraps and supplies, mostly to teachers. Okay. But it they also had fabric scraps, and when I say scraps, that's very broad. Like that could mean like, all of this, which I bought. Piece, right? I bought all of this fabric wow. there. I miss that place. <laughs> There's no place <laughs> like it here. Yeah. But I also found these rabbit skins there. Wow. They had like five of them and I bought four of them because the only four were usable. Okay. So, and they were they were pretty beat up, but I was managed to, to make this with it. So, and this was that wool was from yeah. a scarf. So. Great story, all right. Yeah. And the two piece, right? Yep, just the jacket and skirt and it has pockets. Okay. I have can, my can, I, can I ask, it. what did you study in school? I did not go to college. No. <laughs> no, okay. I just... So where's, where's the tailoring come from? I have collected for over 10 years. I've collected antique clothing. Okay. I've had to sell a lot of it now because, well, I live here. Yeah. Things are expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I've kept a couple of prized pieces that are kind of in the style that I like. Uh, most of the clothing I collect is from about 1850 to 1920. Oh, wow. Let me ask you, of the two piece like this, right? Which to me, the untrained eye looks super intricate, right? How many hours did this take you? It probably took me like two weeks to make. Then the hand warmer? Where's that from? This I, I actually bought this here. There's a there's a couple of fur sellers around here that recycle a lot of fur jackets okay. and stoles. So this came from that place. Oh, I forget what it's called. Okay, and it has a little zipper for you. Yeah, you know, Cell you phone got and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I cook. I put small things in here, like well, you know. Oh, it's embroidered inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I take a look at the shoes? Yeah, they're not very exciting. Oh, <laughs> These came from still the cool. Store. Yeah, a little I Chelsea usually, number. I yeah. I usually wear nicer period looking shoes, uh -huh. but they did have these style of boots going all the way back to the 1850s. Okay. So I know a lot of people don't realize that because like everybody wears Chelsea boots now, yeah. but they're the style is actually kind of identical to how it's been since like 1855. Amazing. So, yeah, we get a little historical lesson from you yeah, as well. Yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is historical. That's Absolutely. what this is. Absolutely. That's the reason I stopped you. All right. That's Perfect. The idea. So, 
let's rate the fit. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the outfit? You know, I give it a 7. Because 7? I only give it a 7 because it doesn't... I've, I've modified this coat a bunch of times. I've had to re... I basically had to take it apart and reconstruct it three times. Oh, wow. So it fits better. It still doesn't fit the way I want it to. It looks amazing to I me. I know. people. <laughs> nobody would know that. Yeah. But it's just... This is just me. I actually just replaced the buttons like two weeks ago. Are they like Mother of Pearl or something yes. like that? Yes. Oh, I, I actively seek those out. Okay. I, Before I let you go... And for everybody out there that want to see your other outfits, share your Instagram with me. Uh, my Instagram is the old record gal. Um, if you just want the to way find it sounds. Me. Yeah, it, it is just the way it sounds. <laughs> <Okay>. Perfect. <laughs>